Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So this past weekend I was in Madison just on like a little bit of a mini vacation with a couple of my friends. Obviously one of the things that I did while I was in Madison was I visited a couple of bookstores. And while I was in Madison and sort of on this mini vacation I was slightly unplugged for the weekend. I wasn't completely unplugged but eventually the news of what happened this past weekend in Virginia, you know, came up. It was one of those situations that like I was on vacation and I wasn't like quite prepared to deal with such an intense news item, I guess. And I was also just sort of like out and about and I really wanted to enjoy my day, but also like thoughts surrounding the events were also in the back of my head and it ended up sort of influencing the book that I ended up picking up on that one day. So we ended up going to A Room of One's Own, which is like the big indie bookstore in the heart of Madison. That was one of the bookstores that we went to, but it's the one that uh, I picked this one book up. And the book that I picked up is We Gonna Be Alright, uh, Notes on Race and Resegregation by Jeff Chang. And it was like one of those situations where I was browsing the bookstore and I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to buy at that moment. There were a couple of different fiction books where I was like, oh, maybe I'll pick that one up. Maybe I'll pick that one up. A Room of One's Own is a very large bookstore, which is fantastic. So obviously I was taking my time going through all of the different sections. The fiction section's in the front, so I worked my way through the fiction section. Then eventually I made my way back to where more of the nonfiction is, and they have a huge nonfiction selection, which is fantastic. And so I'm working my way through the nonfiction, and I'm like, started to realize like, oh, I think I'm in the mood to pick up some nonfiction books. And so I'm working my way through the different sections. The first one I came across was like nature, and then the science related nonfiction books and then like habits and business. When I was in the nonfiction section and I came to the sociology section, this was one of the books that was there. And so I knew immediately that this was the book I was going to end up picking up because it's a book I've been wanting to read, but also just the events of the weekend. I knew that this was a book I needed to read right now. So this is a collection of essays and it obviously talks about race in a variety of different ways. I had heard Rebecca Shinsky talk about this and a couple of different times on like the Book Riot podcast as well as the all the books podcast and so it's always a book that I've had on my radar um, and he just talks about the different ways that race is being discussed in our modern culture he talks about things like Black Lives Matter and Oscar So White but he even discusses things like Asian Americanness in the United States which is something that obviously as someone who is Asian American uh, is very interested in um, although obviously I'm South Asian American but yeah it, I realized also that more and more I feel like current events seem to be influencing the books that I'm picking up whether from the library or from bookstores like while I'm out and about so the other like main time that I can very distinctly remember this happening is that I was in New York City uh, the day of the election and the basically the week following and like obviously when you're in New York City or when I'm in New York City <laughs> I make it a point to go to a variety of different bookstores and so I think it was the day after the election I was doing some like self-care basically and going to a bunch of different art museums I saw Hamilton which just happened to work out very well and then obviously I went to the Strand as well as the comic book store that's next to Strand that I cannot remember right now, but it's the big one. Um, anyways, there are two things that I picked up. Actually, there are three things that I picked up while at the Strand in the comic book store that were directly, basically, my way of doing little bits of resistance um, in the world that we live in now. And so the first one was Quesadillas by Juan Pablo Villalobos, um, and this one is translated by Rosalind Harvey. So I picked this one up because of Trump's just horrible attitude towards Mexicans, um, and Juan Pablo Villalobos is a Mexican author, and so I figured I would just pick up something from a Mexican author just to show some support and throw some support that way. I really like Juan Pablo Villalobos. He's a really fantastic author. I've also read Down the Rabbit Hole, which is my favorite from him so far. Um, this one is slightly more like satirical and fun, but yeah, this was one of the books I picked up. Also, while I was at the Strand, I got their Make America Read Again tote bag, which I currently don't have on hand. It's like in my car because I use it for groceries. And then the other thing that I picked up was Ms. Marvel Volume 5. This was the most recent volume that I needed to pick up at that point. Picking up a book that centers around a Muslim American was definitely a way of, I don't know, these little efforts of resistance. I think that a lot of times, at least for me, when these big events are occurring, I get sort of like paralyzed in figuring out what to do. And so my natural inclination is to turn towards books and to throw my money and support towards books that feature or talk about marginalized people. It feels like it's insignificant, but 
the more that I'm in this world, this bookish world, um, and the more conversations that I have with people, the more that I realize that I personally want to be reading about and amplifying the voices of the marginalized, throwing my money behind those stories. And then obviously, like I have a platform here and many of you who are watching this also have a platform through YouTube and blogs and Twitter and things like that. And so using that to amplify these voices is becoming like more and more important to me. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you find yourself doing something similar, if the events of the day seem to be influencing more and more the books that you're picking up or even the books that you're talking about because I find that to be happening for me uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing if anything I feel like my reading has widened quite a bit because of it because I'm seeking out books that I don't know if I would have necessarily sought out otherwise um, or I'm at least prioritizing books that I know might not have been prioritized otherwise so yeah let me know if you've picked up any specific books because of current events and definitely let me know what those books are down below because I love sort of expanding my own reading especially if they're nonfiction books about specific topics. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week.